Okay, I'm geared up and I'm ready to go to the Cine Gear Expo here in LA. It's in Burbank at Warner Brothers Studios. And I've got um, a lavalier mic on. I've got my bag all set up. And I'm bringing um, my Sony ZV-1 and not my FX3, which you would think I would bring my FX3 to a Cine Gear Expo because the Sony ZV-1 is not a Cine camera at all. In fact, most people ridicule this camera, although it shares the same sensor as the FX6. Um, so I've got a, my Sony lavalier mic um, plugged directly into the three and a half millimeter audio jack. I did bring sort of an audio, uh, my wireless audio system and like a microphone handle just in case I want to do interviews. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do interviews. I'm not typically a social person and I won't talk to strangers unless I'm forced to and then I'll do fine. But I'm going to this um, expo because not because I'm a cinematographer, I'm a director of photography. In fact, this is far out of my league. It's sort of out of my comfort zone, but it's in town, it's free. There's a bunch of booths that I wanna go check out and people I wanna go meet and maybe create connections with. But it's at Warner Brothers, which is one of my favorite studios to go to. I moved to LA some 13 years ago and when I first got into town, I worked as a background actor because um, I wanted to be on set. And I did hundreds of TV shows at all different studios. And Warner Brothers was one of my favorites because of not just the history, but the lot is amazing. There's so much uh, to do, so much to see, all these little like neighborhoods and villages and sound stages and uh, uh, like little cities. It's, it's hard to sort of fully grasp how cool it is once you walk in it. That's sort of my Lego land. That's my Disneyland, it's Warner Brothers. Um, so I'm excited just to go back there since it's been a while and to just see what they have. I know like Furiosa is playing at a screening later and it's pretty much goes from like 10 till 11 at night. So we'll see how long it lasts, but yeah, come with me. All right, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna take you on a quick walking tour from the outdoor vendors and all the crazy new gear, along with all the film memorabilia on the Warner Brothers lot to maybe the best part, the sound stages where all the bigger companies are like Ari, Canon, Sony. And before that, speaking of, I got a behind closed door look at the Burano during a Sony screening, which I'm not sure they wanted us to record, but frankly, I'm just glad I got in at all as they were about to turn us away at the gate. Okay, so I waited in line for only about, uh half an hour, but it probably took about an hour of driving into the lot. They told us upon entering the gate that it would take about three hours, but right after they let us in. So I'm standing right next to uh, the Batmobile and um, sort of in the center of town where the fountain is and where the friend's couch is. It's super busy, super packed. I don't, it almost seems like they weren't ready for this amount of people. So yeah, I'm just gonna take you along so you could sort of get a walking tour of it. Um, yeah, I'm a little overwhelmed myself. I found a, a corner to hide in, in the shade to talk to you. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Uh, I did go to Viltrox, that was the first place I wanted to go to. Uh, they've got, you know, huge lenses that I probably don't need and they look at my little uh, 20 millimeter f2.8 and sort of laugh at it. Uh, but I'll probably go talk to them later. And when everything dies down, it feels like the sun finally came out. It's been cool in LA for a bit. So let's continue the walk. Wait, listen to this guy standing in front of this massive crane for a second. Oh, so did you hear that? Use this for a YouTube channel. I mean, how many YouTubers are using Technocranes in their home studio other than Marquez Brownlee, I mean, maybe, it's super cool. But, so now it's clear in hindsight that I'm thankful that I didn't bring my FX3 and I probably should have kept my ZV-1 at home too and just brought my GoPro or if I had a Pocket 3 as it's really difficult to walk, talk, peruse, and be present while holding a camera steady. But my main purpose here, because a fellow YouTuber did a similar tour of NAB, the broadcast version of this in Vegas, and I was really bummed that I couldn't make it. But after watching his walking tour, my FOMO was fixed, and I felt like not only was I there in a way, but I was way more prepared to go next year. Oh, and, and check out this mocap stuff. You could sit and interact with a CGI Ted in real time, which is pretty cool. So. Again, if, if any of you are planning to go next year or maybe have no intention of going at all, you can still experience a little bit of Warner Brothers studio tour while I shakily whisk you around the lot to see the sights and the copious amounts of Batmobiles. 
as you can never have enough Batmobiles. So after I passed the main theater where Furiosa was screening later, which I didn't end up seeing here, but it's a fantastic movie, so go see it, I walked through Little New York on the way to the commissary to grab a quick bite before I realized that the Sony show was about to begin and I started jogging until I kept getting sidetracked by all the film history stuff. And then I got legit lost and distracted again and started to panic as the Sony screening was the main thing that I wanted to see, but I made it. Screening room 12 made it for Sony, maybe made it. And next, getting to play with the Burano at the Sony booth and the C400 and others, this was the highlight of the tour and changed my mind about the Burano. So these guys were like accidental DPs who were just adventure seekers who started with mirrorless alpha cameras and photography lenses, and they started shooting their excursions. And because most camera operators don't want to live in tents in the bush or pooping in buckets on the tundra for weeks on end or hanging on the top of skyscrapers shooting down on Jared Leto, they kept getting work and kept getting gigs and their work kept getting better. So when Sony gave them Buranos, they still use their photography lenses. They actually use a 14 millimeter F 1.8 to shoot Jared Leto, who's an avid climber, scale the exterior of the Empire State Building. And yes, they even did something worse. They used autofocus. So I love how these guys didn't follow any of the rules of filmmaking. And their stuff is just beautiful. And the thing that was bizarre is they seemed to be throwing shade at YouTubers who were, had tested its dynamic range. I, I don't know who they were referring to, but it wasn't Potato Jet as he was sitting in the front row and was in the dock itself. But the Sony rep was being really cagey about it for some reason. Yet these guys showed some stunning low light footage and they were also shooting with a Venice and they said they actually preferred the Burano in most instances. The whole presentation was great because these guys weren't salesmen. They were too gruff, rugged and honest to BS. Now I'm excited to hear more people's experience with the Burano and what that tech means for people like me as I see all these advancements from internal NDs and IBES, etc. and one day even global shutter making its way down to little plebeians like us at the prosumer level. Imagine an FX3 Mark III or something like that, that would be stacked. Now getting to actually hold the Sony Burano, that, that's going to be the fun part. Okay, so I just got out of the Sony Burano um, screening. Um, it was pretty interesting because there were some questions they were skirting, um, including dynamic range, but the people that were using them, the two DPs, said it had just as good a dynamic range as the Venice. I don't know if that's true, but they, they were unorthodox camera users, and it was sort of amazing to hear that they were using like uh, photography lenses on their on the Burano. Um, but yeah, it was actually the best part of the show so far. The worst part is trying to go up and talk to people in their booth, giving one car away. And that's, uh, that was my goal, just to give one away, and I did, so yeah. So this event is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, way more crowded, way more busy, a lot younger than I thought it was gonna be too. Um, a lot of, I feel like I'm one of the older people here. A lot of uh, content creators make you realize that this crowd is skewing younger. Um, so yeah, it's really interesting to see how this has shaped up over the years. and. Uh, I really love Warner Brothers a lot still, so, okay. So now let's go into the sound stages where most of the vendors were, including Sony, Canon, RE, Blackmagic, Panasonic, and more, all showing off their newest tech. These sound stages are massive and packed wall to the wall with a bunch of stuff I'll never need. But now the shy part is, when I was playing with other cameras, I had my camera off, so I don't have a lot of footage of me like talking to people, which I already remarked. I didn't do a good job of or holding cameras. I was more like a peeping Tom stalking the gear from afar until I got a chance to jump and wrap my hands around them. And then I turned off my body cam so the evidence couldn't be used against me in the court of law. Needless to say, everything I touched was far above my pay grade and I'm not the intended buyer for a $25,000 camera or even a $10,000 one. And I'm not that interested in Canon C400 or Blackmagic 17K or Pixis. Nothing against them, it's just not in my wheelhouse as somebody who mostly films his face pacing around his backyard. And I guarantee you, you don't wanna see that in 17K. You probably don't even wanna see it in 720p. 
But overall, this was a massive learning experience as next time, I will either bring a friend to not just help me shoot and talk junk about other creators, but to give me strength to approach more people and hand out my business cards and figure out how to network and sell myself as I'm never going to be able to buy a Burano if I keep selling myself short. And maybe next time I'll actually say hi to Cam Mackey without fangirling. Copy, borrowed, modified, adapted, and there's nothing wrong with that. There really is. We have to learn. Now, how, how do we learn? I did some work with Vittorio Storaro a few years ago. Fascinating. How did he learn to light? He went to museums and studied art and studied works of art. He would look at the painting and think, well, I, I like that painting. Where's the light coming from? And that's how he learns. It, it's not natural. You're not born being able to light. So experiment, try things. My Venetian blind thing was born out of experimentation. I tried it, I liked it. Okay, so I found a hidden nook at the Warner Brothers studio and I just want to give my sort of two cents here, uh, sort of summary as I'm about to go home. I met a lot of people, but I also realized how my social anxiety sort of prevents me from probably meeting more and giving more business cards away. So I first came and I brought like 50 business cards to give away. And I've given away four, which is probably three more than I thought I would. Um, but it's a, it's a great event to sort of work that muscle. I just, you know, it's something I need to work on. And um, that's what this event is for, because uh, I'm not a cinematographer, I'm not a director of photography, but I do like cameras and I do like gear. I do like trying to network and meet people. NAB is probably more my speed, um, but this was sort of a, a really cool place to be in, a cool place to sort of rub shoulders with people who are doing big things. And it's sort of inspiring in that way to get out of your comfort zone and uh, yeah, and just sort of see what the possibilities are with a person in a camera um, and hopefully a team in a camera. So that's a takeaway here is hopefully I can sort of meet more people network better and sort of create that team because it seems like everybody who's doing big things are doing big things with other people. So that's a takeaway. I love Warner Brothers. I could sleep here. Found a really cute little nook um, right next to the water tower. Um, beautiful day, sunny day, shade is nice. Okay, I'm on my mile walk back. I'm just praying my car is not towed. So the parking lot was completely full, so I've got about a, like a mile and a half, two mile walk. It's beautiful though. Uh, golden hour-ish getting there. Uh, yeah, just walking out of the lot. And here's like Forest Lawn, which is like Hollywood's most famous cemetery. <clears throat> And yeah, it's sort of a beautiful day, actually. Didn't get too hot. Let's see, cemetery. We got ABC Studios over there. So all in all, I don't think I'm gonna go back tomorrow, but Cine Gear Expo 2024 was a victory. Maybe a small victory, but a victory. Thanks for coming with me. So thank you for your time and attention. I've got a bunch more videos, probably not like this, so. Thanks again. Bye.